Should you be teaching people regular expressions? Absolutely. Is, there, is it a useful skill to have? Absolutely. Are you going to convince me to play a game where I need to write said and grep statements for fun? Fuck no. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly show. It covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone here to LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel in our little Linux powered studio, joined every week by the man, the myth, the legend, the wadded up green screen, and his handy sidekick, Jordan Sfang. Hello, Jordan. Hello. I and am the green screen. The undefeated Burger King consuming champion of Britannia. You may know him as Pedro Mateus, but <laughs> I know him as something very different. Day, but it was four burgers. That that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and together with you, Shadow Realm Dynamic, join us live, watching us on Twitch, helping us form. Do I get all the things together? Can I do it one time without going to the cocaine, cocaine vault? It's, it's not, not even, even there. there. Boom. <laughs> We're trapped in the <laughs> void, Ben. Trapped in the void of space Blinding forever. There is no Voltron. <laughs> Voltron's dead this week, man. I'm so sad. So what's up? What's new? We got a lot to talk about. Steamy news, regular news, game reviews. You name it. I did. Uh, I finished uh, the YouTuber special, the Focusrite Gen 3 solo. I've been putting off for two years doing one of those simply because it's a USB audio interface. You got to just plug them in and they work under Linux, but... There's the confirmation and uh, did run into a uh, very interesting, I didn't buy it, knew about it used and um, found some Coca-Cola in it. It's a bit of a sticky situation. It, eh? it, it, it was when I <laughs> pulled it apart. Fortunately, I got most of that on uh, film. I pulled it out. And, like, did, did, did you get like the good, like, she, like Coke string? Like it, it, <laughs> it was just like the super thin line of it ah. between the, because of course it's me. I'm going to take it apart. Right. And, um, yeah, I was like, what? I, I genuinely thought it was some type of lubrication, some type of grease. And, uh, oh, I did go over to the university and uh, listen to a NVIDIA A4000. And you still love your hearing? Congrats. Not loud. <laughs> How close were you to it? This, yeah. this is the news. Uh, <laughs> my buddy of mine, uh, Dr. John, um, he also does karaoke. Hi, Fred. Uh, he has a research lab and I'm like, yo, do you get any? He's like, yeah, we got plenty of like, can, and we did the whole thing and I spooled it up. The only thing we couldn't do any games or anything, but everything's running Linux. And uh, I put blender on it and hit it at full tilt. I was like, yeah, I can make that work. And in any other time, 12 to $1,400 for something that's equivalent to a 3070 with more memory. Yeah. I, I, I still don't know. I, I still don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe if we just keep holding our breath, the... Uh, <laughs> it's bound to happen. <laughs> it's a lovely 2023 shade of from the look of things. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's a very weird thing to sit down and go, can I use that as a business expense? And probably, but I, just, I don't know. No, what, what, what you do is you figure out how to break into the university's research department. <laughs> if I, I wanted to take pictures... I did. Uh, we're, we're talking dozens, not dozen, mm. dozens. dozens. <laughs> but apparently for some reason, I, they're safe from crypto miners. They don't think to buy, I guess, because they can just buy pallets directly from stores, you know. Yeah, the I, I, the, the price point is marginally too high or some shit. No. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. man. <laughs> Pedro, so there's a Burger King near you now. Yes, it yeah. is. And Deliveroo, uh just popped up the thing it's like oh we have new restaurants available and i was looking through the list it's like ooh, that's burger king i haven't had burger king since the whole you know lockdown started let's order some burger king (laughs) and then um nori uh went to see uh one of her old classmates was doing like an exhibit with art stuff that he'd done and he invited her i wasn't allowed to go even if I had been, I probably mm-hmm. wouldn't have. But uh, the <laughs> the um, for dinner, I was home alone, so I was like, "Well, I'm going to order from Burger King again." <laughs> so I did, and they had a really nice message in the bag. It's like, "Don't forget to rate us five stars." Like, really, really. <laughs> you know, you say that. I, I caught the one earlier that morning, which you'd posted. I'm like, "Oh, look, you got Burger King. That's interesting." 
you made me think Discord had died in our Discord that's where he posted this because I saw another Burger King thing. I'm like, ah, did it do that thing? Where it <laughs> oh, right, where it's just <laughs> yeah. sending you the same message over and, and over again. Like, I went to scroll. I'm like, no, this is new. <laughs> no, no, that was later. me just literally getting dinner and it's like, there we go. There it is. <laughs> mm. So are you going to work for Facebook? Maybe if they if they uh, grovel enough, oh. um, I, I I don't know. I'm 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 not one to like take super antagonistic uh, relationships with uh, people who are trying to hire me. But I I don't want to work for I Facebook. Hear, come on, man! I hear you get surprise days off sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. You, I mean, I'm sure a couple <laughs> of their engineers have a bunch of surprise days off oh. that they really weren't accounting for. Fair. That's why they're looking for some new engineers. Oh, get anything else going? No, not really. Just been interviewing with a bunch of places. I got an interview with Wikipedia on Monday, so that'll be fun. Wikipedia? Oh, yeah, man. Wikipedia. That'd be great. If you, I don't no, know. Would you rather I, work I, for I, Wikipedia or Archive? I think I'd rather work for Archive. Uh, Archive's I, a lot more fun tech-wise, yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Def- definitely. I'll, as long as I didn't have to go on site. Would be all right. Well, I mean, I mean, like, yes. what, what, what site anymore? Really, all this shit's hosted in the. Cl- I guess, I guess, archive. Maybe if you're going to be running like that level of storage, you might as well have your own. Well, it's all hosted at their church. Ah, yes, that's right. They, they bought out that church. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, but we. But where's the transition to that? You can't fill a church full of horses. No, it's 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 like Wikipedia diving. You hit random article and you see how long it takes you to get to the Steam Lex. Update of the week. If someone has actually put together a Steam Linux update of the week Wikipedia article, why? No, why? What they need to do? Somebody needs to put together a um, like uh, update of the week supercut. All four hundred and yes. <laughs> four hundred seventy-eight of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I. I, I like that Pedro just did that because I'm tempted. I just never get around to do it because I've got limited hard drive space of doing a um, like 10 hour super cut of Pedro laughing. <laughs> Man, that, that, that is literally you the sound of insanity. You me even more by the time you were done, but yes. No, the reason <laughs> this doesn't happen is because, like, all right, they need some beats behind it. Then I just go down that rabbit hole and we end up with like a Pedro remix. No, we, we sell it to the producers of Chucky, and they make a doll that just plays the supercut of Pedro giggling. Oh, man. Well, if they do that, they sure as fuck can't uh, include any NFTs in it. Uh, this comes from Steam no. Database, man. Steam onboarding rules now list applications built on blockchain technology cannot be allowed in the store. That's right. Uh, they won't publish it. At least one game, which had a store page, has been denied as a result. And if we want to pop over to the GitHub, yeah. Non-interactive 360 VR videos is then and applications built on blockchain technology that issue or allow exchange of cryptocurrencies or NFTs. You know what? You know what, Valve? I'm just going to say. I got to say this because apparently there were or are numerous games uh, that have that mechanic in them, whether it be it an NFT or cryptocurrency, as part of the gameplay. I had a TIL when I was doing a little bit of research for this, but it does strike me maybe just me, all alone, that, you know, Valve seems really comfortable about, like, easy resell of their digital property, like, skins? Just so long as it's tied to accounts in games that they publish. You know? Well, there was that big snafu a couple of years back about a certain website and a certain pair of YouTubers that were, uh, selling skins or, you know... <laughs> yeah, that, 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 doing- that's kind of... That's- that's kind of it, right? Like Val- Valve has yeah. had a lot of hot water on them based on some financial dealings. You would think that maybe they don't want additional regulatory eyes on them. Um, no. And it, it, if it's not profitable for Valve, it's easy to justify getting rid of them altogether. And in the current state of things, it's it makes them look good. It's like, oh, they're not promoting crypto mining or uh, NFTs well, or anything like well, that. Like, S- S- Sweeney, Sweeney, Sweeney was... Sweeney was very quick to come out and be like, well, you know, on the Epic Game Store, we'll allow whatever you <laughs> yes, want. On the Epic Game Store, we'll suck your dick if you put your game there, please. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what? Do you have a problem with the game you got in your Epic Game? Just go over to the Steam forums and ask them there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, don't worry about it. Like Bitcoin, crypt, yeah, Bitcoin, especially Bitcoin. Just it, it's going to crash. Send us all your Bitcoin. We'll do something with it. Uh <laughs> You know what? What if I told you that you could get free dick pics and video with no registration or credit card 
required, Pedro. It's called Pornhub, oh. isn't it? That uh, that sounds naughty. Uh, unfortunately, the story is nowhere near as hot as you may think it is. No, this is just about the Steam Deck. And Valve created an account on Twitter that shows uh, all Dick the... Um, yeah, <laughs> all the pictures and videos that developers have been posting on Twitter, they retweet them, or if they haven't, if it's not a public account, they upload the video themselves. So yeah, you can see all the developers that have their hands on one of the dev kits <laughs> and how their games are currently working. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, more of this shit, please. I want, I want this. It's like there's three monitors above that. Why are you not? Come on. <laughs> But yeah, it, you can see yeah. quite. Yep, you can see quite a few games uh, there that, of people that never even acknowledged that Linux was a thing. To uh, companies that were outright refusing to bring their games to Linux, Cyan Worlds uh, comes to mind. Uh, yeah, so that, that's what I've been doing. That that that's my catharsis. It's like, oh, look at all the developers that shunned Linux in the past, gleefully showing off their Linux computer. Actually works. Mm. Hmm. I mean, that, that looks pretty good. All the videos, it's like the game is running very smooth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, what the only thing I'm really looking at is uh, hand sizes, because sometimes, sometimes this looks like an oversized Atari Lynx, and the other times it looks reasonable. Yeah, I, yeah, I, th I think I it's think like to do with, you know, hand size. That's, that's what that, I'm that, saying. That's, that's definitely going to be the thing. It's like uh, it's like Jill with the big laptop. You can't tell if it's like really tiny Jill, really big laptop or both. But uh, yeah, I mean, you, I guess this is the place to go to see progress, I guess. Um, I, I really, again, it, Hi. oh yeah, The, the Witcher Hi. 3. Yeah, so. hello, broken Linux promises. <laughs> hello, right darkness, there. my yeah. old friend. That, that, that was like definitely something I uh, retweeted with the, uh, you know, just definition of deja vu. Mm -hmm. The Witcher game. Um, I remember when that was supposed to be. Here's another thing, though, because that, that post was done long before uh, you could get free dick pics. And mm -hmm. um, can, can we stop using the Witcher as like performance metric? Because that's... Sorry to break it to you. That's an old game now. It doesn't take well, that Well, it runs on run. the Switch. Right. <laughs> so so you, you, want, you, want to use, you want to use the new game, like GTA V or the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Those are those. Yeah. You know what? You can jack. You can still jack Skyrim on, to bring a modern oh, box down, yeah. Oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> like that, that's not doing you, anything too crazy. You can play Skyrim and not touch a shred of like the original game data with the amount of mods in place. Like, <laughs> and yeah. well, we got the new Ultra version coming out. Oh yeah! yeah. Oh the, yeah! The, they they broke the compatibility with so many of the mods, and uh, Nori spends a lot of time on the Nexus because she plays Karim, so a lot of mods. And she was saying that like, yeah, there's a bunch of angry people that. Just, they just can't. I think it was like Skyrim script ex extender, the creators of that particular mod. They were just going, yeah, we can support the original version based on what we've talked with Bethesda, but we don't know how long this will remain feasible. So, so, so it, it just doesn't just, matter, just, man. Just I thought that a Skyrim when they introduced houses and like, no, I don't need Sim <laughs> Dragon. No, here, here, here's, here's the thing. Do you think Todd Howard would support a native version of Skyrim if they made people buy it yet another time? Yes. Hundred uh, percent. They're, they're owned by Microsoft now, so I guess no, it would no, depend no, no. on Microsoft. No, they're they're going to have a new Skyrim <laughs> SE Dick Edition. Yeah, Exa exactly. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah you, like you, you can you can play it on Linux. You just have to buy the game again. Mm -hmm. Like the, yes, Bethesda, Bethesda got you as long as you're willing to pay them for every platform you want that game on. Oh, oh man, so it makes you want to build an army, doesn't a it? Dystopian army. Yes, the Despots game allows you to do just that. You can build yourself a dystopian army. Uh, and it is, it's like a battle sim. If you, if you saw the um, realistic battle simulator or whatever that game was called, uh, it was a big thing on Twitch for a while where people just built an army and then you'd fight other different armies and see it's, it's, it's not how that would work out. Uh, maybe. Uh, 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 here's the thing. I'm hoping, I'm very much hoping that uh, this will go more along the lines of um, gratuitous space battles where mm. you just set up your thing and then they, you fight in the room and then you do the roguelike thing and you go to a different room, rinse, repeat. But 
yeah, I want less of the managerial overlordy type of business, and I want more of the I just set up my dudes and I want to see how they do kind of thing. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's an early access, though, so I'm going to wait until the um, actual game is out, and then I will have a proper look at it, because it, it, it very much does look like my thing. Yeah, and it's yes. like taking a look at it, man. And you know what? You can get away. I, I can overlook a lot of stuff, man, with um, like management and stuff like that. But just like right out of the gate from that trailer, if that's any indication whatsoever, this thing's got a good sense of humor with it. I mean, mm-hmm. Jordan, yeah, you, you can have an army of magical girls fight an army of robots. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's reasonably priced for early access, too. When you see most of these games at like $20, like, what 13 11 bucks us for this like is that. uh but uh, i mean pretzels <laughs> I, I pretzels mean, if, the um kylo ren pretz- uh lightsaber with the, the two pretzels things are the deadliest <laughs> snack in the history of mankind you don't want to fuck with pretzels man they will end you i can overlook a lot of stuff but i couldn't overlook our next uh bit of no you, you, you don't you don't want to parse some plain text then no man, so I'm this good. is this, this is this copy editor, a regular expression puzzle game. And you, you know what? Here, here's the thing. If you've ever, if you're like me and you've ever like had to parse through large log files or just have to find, replace a bunch of stuff. Yes. Think, I've, yeah. I do have broken SQL databases. Yeah. And you, you want, <laughs> do you, I don't, yeah. I mean, you can use regex to fix SQL. Um, but, uh, should you be teaching people regular expressions? Absolutely. Is, there, is it a useful skill to have? Absolutely. Are you going to convince me to play a game where I need to write said and grep statements for fun? Fuck no. <laughs> Not at all. But I, 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 can, I can definitely see the motivation behind such a game. Okay. Uh, okay. It, it, it's got mixed reviews. We got to take a trip. Yeah, no, people are complaining to, um, that it doesn't do a very good job of explaining what the fuck. <laughs> what the fuck a regular so unless expression you, is? You already know, yeah. Unless you already speak regular expressions, you're you're not gonna have a good time. Oh, so this is like uh, regex uh, practice. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't teach you a damn thing about him, apparently, according to the uh, yeah. reviews. But uh, yeah. yeah, you know what? Well, it's it's, it's like uh, Turing complete, right? Where that one actually teaches you how to build like logic gates and shit. I was hoping that this one would actually teach you regular expressions. But you know what? Maybe maybe you're someone who writes a lot of said and awk. This might be six seven dollars you need to spend to keep your skills. Uh, uh, sure. You know, it's priced at six ninety nine, and this thing has uh, Christmas presents from old man Vin written all over it. Yeah, uh, this is a, this is some Lee Carvalho's putting challenge mm-hmm. shit, right? Like, yes. I got you a game. I heard you were really excited about it. Copy editor. Ah, uh, we get. What's up next? Oh, new game. Warp Speed, baby. Yeah, uh, new games. Uh, Warp Frontier. It's a point-and-click adventure game. It looks like it was made in the early 2000s, uh, and it is getting a Linux version. Uh, So, yeah, uh, if you're a fan of point-and-click sci-fi adventure, this might be up your alley. The developer is putting out a call, though. They're saying that uh, they're asking for people who already own the game, who have Linux boxes, to give this a little bit of a test before they uh, pull the trigger on the Linux version, which, you know what, I can appreciate. Uh... Having, having, the, yeah, yeah ha- having, get soliciting some actual feedback from your people is pretty good. Um, will it result in a good game? I don't know. Point and click is kind of hit or miss for me. Uh, but it has mostly positive reviews from the 10 people who have reviewed it. So maybe yep. it will be a fun little mystery. Don't you always feel it's like the a art little, looks little, very good? A little bit yeah. weird when you see something like this is clearly high quality, you know? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like the like the, the level the level of detail here means that like someone people have spent hours on the fucking drawings right. and shit. Yeah. And you see some you're yep. clearly a lot of work has went into it. It's not crazily priced. I mean fourteen ninety nine. And when you see something like this, you're like, oh, ten reviews. I'm like, how? Yeah. Do people <laughs> the, 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 there's no fucking it justice. Is point right? and like, click. Yeah, yeah, there's there's going to be uh, a lot of people that see, oh, it's point and click. No. What, what what was the uh think about this what about games that clearly had a high budget and that were just abandoned after an, after launch uh, what was the racing remember the uh racing game where you had to paint the tracks that had a linux version that the paint didn't work right oh, oh 
Oh yeah. Uh, to this day, I mean, I guess you can go back and co- play it with Pokemon. color or something, <laughs> color racers, color. Send us some hate mail. The, I mean, that game had like its own character development and like, spaceship, and you uh, could design your own spaceship, and they would put it in the game if it won the competition. And, it was yeah. yeah. I'm not saying triple A, but high double A polish on it. And like mm. ooh, a lot of work went into this, and they did the initial it was version silent. And just poof. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a better love story than Crazy Justice, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the calling. That? Oh man. So uh Pedro, you do like the skate burb. I do. like the skate burb. Uh, I do. I think me and Jordan <laughs> were kind of like equal was, opinion was, about it. I'm like, eh. Well, I was lukewarm. It, it was it was not the skateboarding game I wanted because the skateboarding sucked. Well, I mean, th- <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. But you know, there's been another update. My first thing was uh I, I watched uh, Sterling did a video on the skateboard. Did you see that, Pedro? I did see that. And I, I, I have I agreed with stash. Stephanie Sterling. I have agreed with Stephanie Sterling on a number of things. Game opinions, n- not so much. <laughs> <laughs> she has claimed to like many, many games, and I'm going, really? Okay. <laughs> well, we got a new patch, and I went through this patch, and I went control F camera. No. <laughs> I uh, didn't see it, so I got problems it's immediately. Yeah, right out of the gate. <laughs> Apparently, um, yeah, something that needs to be worked on is uh, petting the bird. But no, uh, added first time pop up highlights and ported accessibility. Because I mean, give it credit where credits due. Accessibility is in the game. Very decent on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, disabled mission time limits. Okay. OSTs they, they, and flack as well as MP3. That's good. The and, forks are easier to find for that first level. Yes. So you don't have to fucking go crazy. And I mean, that, to that point, I mean, this, it's a fetch quest game, but uh, the camera angle for hats in Creative Burb has been changed, but you didn't fix. You didn't fix that psychotic snap camera that <laughs> you, or, you're, you're looking around. Oh, I dare move <laughs> back, back behind the burb. Yeah. I, I, I just hope that someday they fix the actual skateboarding so that I can have fun with the game. <laughs> I think the skateboarding again, I think it was on par with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. It's not. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and I think you may be uh, put it, giving a little too much credit to those rose-tinted goggles there, Jordan, because... I, no, no I'm not. Here's something <laughs> I want not. to throw out. Like, speaking of a game without a... You know, you would think we would get more popularity with this. Only 215 reviews on this. But then again, it's on the Switch too, though, isn't it? So maybe, yeah, yes. They, they've they've released it on a couple platforms, I think. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know, uh, for me, I, I just like you know, the bird on a skateboard uh, can only sell so much of the game, and I usually when we get into the game proper, like outside of having PTSD from that camera and not wanting to ever touch it, uh, I wasn't having a lot of fun. I was like, let me see. Oh, so it's, uh, I got to get up there and get those things and oh i need to go over here and get these things and i'm spending more and time figure out how to get around the level with your skateboard yeah that that's kind of very much the point but then i bumped I, into I, something I, I and i the, fell off immediately yeah I, I, I think i thought the point was like to bust out a bunch of cool tricks and then you just like fall over constantly because the <laughs> because the camera and the controls are jank like i don't know why are you touching the camera <laughs> So I can see where I'm fucking going for once. No, uh, you, you need to hold on like with a death grip to the one horrible thing about the old skateboarding games where you couldn't control a camera. See, uh, like, th- again, that's the thing. They, Those games were massively got- popular. People really liked them and you yeah, couldn't move the camera. And it was so, great. You it had feels a fixed like camera a weird angle. complaint if I'm, f- and- if I'm being honest, it does. <laughs> I, I, th- I think it's entirely <laughs> consistent. Fixed camera angle was great because then, you know, the skateboarding worked. So, mm-hmm. Well, know. they would have to fix skateboarding then. Yeah, that's not that's not going to happen. That's that's too advanced for a bunch of birds at keyboards. Well, I, I mean, there is the argument about the grinding being um, yeah, up and down. I, you know, you know, I didn't. That never occurred to me, but I get how that can be a great. That, that exactly was like I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah. that that's kind of an obvious thing to. <laughs> they do give you the option to disable that and just make grinding stupid easy if you can't figure that out well, i mean they, they could go to the way and like put it in the right spot yeah they, 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 they could they could fix the <laughs> game so and enough enough skate burning apologia coming up next nvidia wants you to chew on their big resizable bar calm down 
Yeah, no, if the neon stuff appeals to you, then you should stick around for the reviews. This week, not so much, but... uh, (laughs) <laughs> we, we, we've we had a look at quite a few games with the neon aesthetic and uh, as the developer of um, what was it Power Rumi? I can't remember his name uh, but he says like yeah no that's uh, programmer art like, okay fair enough some people are honest <laughs> about it I mean, I mean, yeah. Tr- Tr- Tron is the OG programmer art if you really think about it if, did you, <laughs> you want to have like miniature Tron cabinets now yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw that yeah. with the with the light cycle game. Uh, if you want to help us buy some of those because they're <laughs> sick as fuck, head on over to patreoncom slash Gamecast and give us some money because Ooh. we desperately need it. Uh, no, becoming a Patreon gets you some cool stuff. Uh, as little as a dollar an episode gets you access to our Discord channel, the pre pre super shows in which we start uh, at seven thirty. It's this this week's was pretty boring, but usually it gets pretty wacky. Uh, extra Linux gaming content, basically just our sound check. Well, I mean, we, to- we definitely tune in for uh, Jordan fights an interface. Jordan just disappeared for like twenty minutes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I got up. I got. I, I made a sandwich. I'm sure you guys had like scintillating conversation while I was gone. You'll never know. And I, I never and I never will. Um, yeah. So, uh, but you know, being a being a patron gets you some other cool stuff. Uh, if you become um, Death Notes level, you get access to the show notes, which is really cool. You can see the show congeal over the course of the week. You can issue suggestions, make corrections. We get we got a bunch of stuff from like Foxy and Arthur, and usually, uh, I think it's just Arthur. And this week, he was the only one who wanted to keep us company. But you can join us. Hell, if you even want to give us enough money, you can get buy your way onto the damn show. Uh, but yeah. Definitely, uh, you can also get access to our Discord channel via subbing to us on Twitch. It's cool. We hang out there for the rest of the week. You can talk to us. We will talk back. You may you, regret that. You know, I finally put a, like a Bing Discord thing in the bot because I I think we've all run into that during a live stream. Somebody's just like running through all the commands. So I finally, like, yeah. mm-hmm. if you Bing Discord, it'll do its thing. But ah. this is just the middle of the show. Uh, one thing we really like to do is stick around in the after show and we have a bit of a pre-show now. So we end up like three and a half, four hours of this nightmare train that's rocking on. So if you need that in your ears or in your eyes, we make that available for patrons. You get a custom RSS feed for our special shows, you know, little things we do. And I like to sneak things out just a little early, mainly so you can do some uh, quality control. Like you misspelled to think old man. I'm like, ah, fine. Good. I didn't release that. Ah. And speaking of that, the interfacing Linux is going to be out, I think Monday. The rough cut I'll have up for everyone for the focus right Scarlet. So if you want to be uh, petrified by the dulcet tones of me going mad, remember when I said I was going to start practicing this guitar so I wouldn't embarrass myself every time I did this? That was a lie. Do, 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 bang. Yeah. Uh, um. that, 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 that was the next morning of like, why did my fingers burn in the shower? Oh, right, right, right. Um, yeah. That's a thing. But we we, we got to thank our uh, our people who are uh, supporting us. Uh, Greg increased his Patreon pledge. So yes, thanks a bunch for that. Uh, we have Nubbin, who is a 17 month resub on Twitch. My God. And, uh, you know, we, we, we have we have wish lists. Uh, there's a Steam one. That He's going to leave our Arthur out of this. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, <laughs> to, that. getting to because, that. I'm getting to that because, you know, on our Steam wish list, Ben wished for uh, Jackbox Party Pack 8. And just before no, Arthur and told him about, well, you didn't? You just, no. bought him, you just bought you a copy? Here's, well, a, here's, shit. A, here's how that actually happened with your revisionist okay. history. Um, <laughs> All right. T- 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 tell me about it, Nostradamus. Oh, man. Yeah, that the uh, somebody, it might have been Arthur. Somebody dropped it in Discord uh, when Jackbox Party Pack 8 launched. And I said, oh, yeah, that's out. Well, we're going to be playing that. Let me go buy that. Between the time that dropped in, I went and I made some tea and I came back in here for because I wasn't here. I remember seeing it because it was over on this monitor. I just get the email. I was like, you have a gift copy. I'm like, well, you win that one. I, I can take a hint. Um, Indeed. We're going to be playing around we, with that. We, we, speaking of wishlists, though, we got them. If you head on over to LinuxGameCast.com, we got a support tab that you can put your mouse over down to the wishlist section where I have one, Ben has one, Pedro has one. Uh, you can buy us whatever crap we have on there. And uh, if you send us a little note, we will Jill read it for one. you on the internet. Jill does have yes. one too. Yes, I wonder what's on Jill's. One as well. Let, let's uh, let's. Uh... <laughs> what, what, what's on what's on Jill's? Uh, okay, Linux coffee mug. Another coffee mug. A plushie. <laughs> a penguin. An SSD. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. And that's it. <laughs> okay. So that, you know you know that's what? highway robbery. These things were used to be fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go. So you know what? Go buy go buy Jill an SSD, folks. Do it. 
it will make our day. Uh, we got a store, store at That's the that's the other thing we got to plug. Yeah, buy yourself some LGC merch, t-shirts, <laughs> stickers, uh, masks. We got coffee mugs and hoodies. That's that's it. I think we we got we got any more merch? Any new stuff? No. Nope. All right. Uh, Go. I don't think so. Let me double check. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta scroll down in her own store to figure you, out what we you never sell. know man I, I keep on uh, like seriously threatening to make the uh, LGZ yoga pants with just Jordan's face on them but I want them but I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing it because then I gotta get them my sample and I'm gonna wear them I'm not going to not you're, you're just gonna be strolling Crush around Jordan. fucking Atlanta with like my face on your ass yeah bitch I'm gonna be like dialing some people up and like yo girlfriend uh you know how to take these shots and stuff let's let's, let's do a photo shoot and just yeah, let's make mm-hmm. that booty pop oh yeah better start, better start doing some squats <laughs> Nvidia has a bar you can use you know what uh that's the wrong button I don't need to hit that go away penguin chili penguin thing yeah you know what the bar. <laughs> You mean a bar I can't find. And this is true. We got some new BN drivers. And lo and behold, it is there. Um, now, a couple of things in this. Uh, GBM API, all that fun stuff. But they have added uh, an indicator for resizable bar support on compatible systems. Yay. And you'll also see the back-end GBM back-end driver for use with the Mesa project. Oh, Bob, EGL, Jeep, what does that mean? I'll tell you exactly what that means, kid. I launched Weston from inside of XFCE on X11 and like, and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, pe- people are going to start dicking around with game scope on that. And I think that's really I, cool. I feel yes. fully qualified. If you have any questions about Wayland on Linux, send them my way. I'll be able to. Yep. <laughs> uh, I, but uh, we, we, we got we got to pour one out for our homie, Kernel 2.6. You can suck it. Nope. You're no longer getting NVIDIA driver support. <laughs> You're on CentOS 5. Suck it. Yeah, I know. They dropped 2.632. How is that still supported? (laughs) Cent6, baby. (laughs) Cent6. Now I just want to have a uh, NVIDIA Titan 30 series, whatever it is, like on, yeah, Cent6. Be like, yo, what the hell? Jensen. Yeah, NVIDIA, we we need need to have a fucking conversation, you and I. (laughs) Not the craziest thing we've seen this week, though. Yeah, it, uh-huh. it's it's progress, but they're still being NVIDIA, and they're doing GBM via EGL. They well, they, can't they already, let it go. <laughs> now, I they did about all this. that work for EGL already. So. Yeah, I, I talked about this in the pre pre super show. And there was a... Uh, they, they had all this back-end stuff. Like, this is NVIDIA we're dealing with. Uh, at least a year ago, they had all of this together. It was ready. This past year, it was like waiting around to... That's just spite, man. They're like, Fuck you. We wanted to do it our way. How dare you? We're NVIDIA. They just threw a leather jacket out. Uh, I, I, I think maybe half of that was also like, hey, remember the last time we came out with this new driver spec and then someone decided to start a new display server? So we're going to we're gonna wait and see until which one of those wins. <laughs> Ten years later. Yeah. I mean, th- thanks, Canonical. You really helped us out with that. Uh, so <laughs> Yeah, that was great. <laughs> you know what? Uh, mountain biking downhill with your HTC Vive on. So last year, yeah, you need the Vive Flow now. So this got this got announced. Uh, there was a post on EV Leaks that said that the more de- more details were coming out on the fifteenth. It is past the fifteenth now, and I. When I was typing out stuff for the notes, I realized that and I'm like, huh, I should go to their website. And so I did. Uh, we got these brand new Rocketeer VR goggles all over USB-C. Uh, also, apparently, if you pre-order them, you get something called Infinity Vista. Can we just take it- a moment to appreciate <laughs> the... Smarts. No, 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 no. What I, what I need to throw this out. The perfect track record of dog shit photoshops that only HTC can fucking deliver this is this is nothing special for this device this is just keeping that track record of really bad very, photoshop very 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 smarts yeah uh so uh, if, if, if you if you pre-order shit now um you get something called infinity vista although i think you think that folks would realize people in software have a very understandable aversion to anything with the word vista attached to it i don't know yeah. uh, 
So $500 is the asking price for this unit. It's in smack dab in the middle of the Oculus Quest model prices between the 256 and the 512. But this one, this one comes with only six, uh, 64 gigabytes of storage. I'm sorry, ROM. It's read-only memory because we have 64 gigs of storage on here that you can't write to get fucked. Can we please stop using ROM just to mean onboard storage? It's not what that means. They're different things. ROM is like BIOS. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, uh, what's that, Jordan? Uh, your phone doesn't have 128 gigs of memory because everyone else around me seems to believe it. <laughs> I, I, I wish I had 106 gigs, 128 gigs of RAM on my phone. That'd be fucking sweet. Uh, so there is a hot swappable battery for this as well. This is, so yeah, this is primarily aimed at phones. I really do want to see someone plug this into a st uh, Steam Deck. Please, please, please someone do this and see this and record the sparks that emit from both devices. But you know, I, I mean, like we're, we're seeing the form factor come down and I think that's been the chief complaint with like a lot of the, the Vive headsets and the Go headsets is that they look like giant fucking toasters that are having intercourse with your face. This is a little more subtle. It seems to be a little bit more easy on the neck. Thoughts? Yeah, I, I have a couple, man. Um, You know what? My first thought is like looking at this and I'm like, this is probably going to give you just enough freedom, just enough freedom to like properly maim yourself start recording kids because i was severely disappointed <laughs> when the first vive came out and i'm like oh man there's going to be murder videos popping up of people like running what way too tame for my taste but you know what i said this on twitter when i saw the leak and i gave it a retweet this at 4.99 is not in the like oh I'm, I'm gonna buy that pricing but it is squarely in the hmm pricing like maybe maybe you can get one like you used to possibly it's it's it, <laughs> it, it has me thinking about it and that says a lot however 75 hertz is going to be a hard nope for a lot of people like nope i'm not going to be dealing with 75 hertz me i don't care my my end game this would be like me buying the switch just to play the bayonettas uh this would be me buying this what i'm looking for is a beat saber device that that's it now it does have active cooling so Actum cooling makes noise, which should be fun. Especially, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right there. Right in the middle of your head. <laughs> That's what headphones are for. You get a nice pair of noise-canceling cans, and you're good to go. One thing I do... I know, I, that's I'm, bone conduction at that point. It's like... Zzz. I'm a little curious about is what does it actually look like? Because there's not a picture of a physical mothering device on this entire... I even watched the video <laughs> looking for it. It's all renders. Oh yeah, and you're not you're not gonna find out until you know those pre-orders start actually. So shipping, for five hundred dollars, so. if you want to look like you're getting face fucked by some aviators, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's and you only get to look like, like vintage aviators. Yeah. So. <laughs> because if you saw the the picture on Twitter, it's like, oh no, that those lenses are there just for show, because uh, there's just hardware in front of them. <laughs> yeah, and feel and, free. And, you're and, just gonna and, run into and, and a shit and camera mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have room scale tracking? Sometimes. Um, depends on how I guess far if you the have the home stations already, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what comes of that. But hey, it's a thing. Is Lutris going to support it? No. Probably. No. No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it may. We may be able to piss off Strider just enough that he'll probably introduce it out of spite but uh, <laughs> there was a new version of lutris that came out five days ago uh it's version not five nine and there's a version that came out right now strider just posted it on discord so good luck with that strider uh the <laughs> the uh the ones for uh the ones that stuck out for me anyway were the uh, they fixed the launching a lutris game as a non-steam game uh if you added a Lutris game to Steam when you try to launch it. Some people, for some people, it seemed to work just fine, but for everyone else, it's it just didn't. Uh, apparently, there was both a locale issue and just a Lutris issue that was causing that. So if you're in our Discord, uh, you might have noticed Pedro. <laughs> Pedro being violently <laughs> upset about, no, 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 this is nothing to do with like geopolitical anything. No, no, not starving children. Nay, no. He was brought to near the point of tears. Discombobulation, one might even say, because he found a log file in his own folder. Yes. 
I keep my home folder tidy and um, I launched just, Lutris and I saw a stupid little text file show up. It's like, what, what in the actual you, you fuck? Just gotta make it, you just got to bite the bullet and make your home folder read only. I swear. Come on, man. <laughs> no. Th- one then more I piece Strider. later, Strider was like, I do not have time for this little bullshit. Fine. <laughs> well, I asked Strider, well, it's like, uh, why is it doing this? And it's like, ah, oh, just go look at the source code. It's like, uh, you can fuck off with that. So I went to look lo, at the lo source and behold, code. You, you fucked <laughs> off instead. <laughs> I, I, I like how this went of like, oh, fuck you. I'm going to go do it anyways. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, so yeah, I want to look at the file. <laughs> I, I, I will give Strider shit for not for actually hard coding a path in there. But yeah, it's not that big a deal. Um, the, they, they added some other support here uh, for uh, DLSS, which may or may not work according to the Lutris Twitter account. Uh, I'm sure Strider will issue a correction very, very soon. Uh, probably not on the Lutris Twitter account. Uh, rip Gallium 9. Rem- remember when we had that dream of native DirectX 9 under Linux mm. and then we got D9VK and yeah. it was just better because it worked on non-AMD cards? Yeah. Um, support for EGS, which may or may not have been stridered from the Heroic Games launcher, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. <laughs> and uh, GameScope support is nice so that now, yep. now with NVIDIA drivers that will support Wayland, hopefully you can get the damn game to spawn on the correct monitor for once. Hey, man, uh, one of the things that's new is Dolphin is now available as a game source. It's going to read directly from the emulator's database of games, so it's not going to be doing double duty, which is pretty damn awesome. And there's some love for 7-Zip as the default extractor when not given an archive type. Makes sense. Yeah, it's all business, baby. X360 CE getting nuked uh, is, well, there's been a lot of improvements for um, wine, and um, if uh, Eggy continues to build... uh, the glorious egg roll version of wine for Lutris, then that's probably sorted too. But uh, yeah, X360C was very, very useful for those games that uh, didn't work or the controller just didn't work any other way. But it is better now. Uh, the The only thing that jumped out was, um, the other thing that jumped out was um, eSync being on by default. And first thing that I see is like, oh, that's going to cause a lot of, that's going to cause a lot of uh, the game is crashing now. I can't launch it anymore. But no, I put it on the laptop and I started the game and it went, uh, yeah, you need to set the U limits conf correctly to this value. It's like, ah, paying attention. Very good. Yeah, I, I, I know. Go. I know Fedora's <laughs> been shipping the correct U limits for a while now. The, the e-sync thing has been uh, resolved for the most part upstream. But, you know, it's good to see that. And uh, moral of the story, Pedro can now continue playing his racing game. Yes. So, Box Race World. That That, that is the one game that I have in Lutra. <laughs> Which I was, uh, when it started spotting that file, I'm like, okay, time to go back to play on Linux. But then Strider's is like, yeah, go look at the source code. And mad as I was, I did. And I commented out that entire bit. <laughs> mm. So uh, most most of the stuff I use Lutris for is for Epic Game Store games because mm-hmm. they don't have a functional launcher. But you know you might want not want to use Lutris. You might want to use the OG Heroic Games launcher. This one has a new release out, Kizaru. Um, and uh, not not a lot here. Uh, it's a relatively small release. And you can set command line options for games that support them. Um, it'll try to launch games offline now, and you can specify your own heroic binary. Um, heroic is the command line tool that legendary is, or that, uh, I guess other way around. Um, but anyways, you can, you yes, can select heroic the is the GUI for legendary. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can choose the legendary binary you want to use if you got to roll back to an old one and yeah, that's, that's kind of it. So if you want some Epic game store, not, I can't believe it's not Lutris love uh check it out <laughs> look at all this on the menu man you got app images uh you got the pac-mans tart at gz's yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, yeah. This, they support a good number of formats yeah i mean guaranteed way to get me to at least try something is give me an app image like oh mm-hmm. I'll, that that is the way i approach things of like I try before you buy and like okay now i'll install it if i like what i see in the app image all right I know. Crazy app opinion. images are very, very, very good for that. <laughs> just, just don't keep them in a centralized repository. If that's bad. Ah, uh-uh. then the app image <laughs> creator defeats the like, purpose. Argue, he he will go full Pedro angry on you on Twitter. <laughs> he might, he might, you know, you know, he might even create a log file in your home directory. Tell me about Monster. Amiga games, Pedro. 
Uh, being a, that, that was one of the platforms that I completely skipped because my dad had a C64 and then I had a uh, Master System too. So, oh, uh, yeah. It, 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 yeah, but uh, that was 3.11 at first and you had to change auto exact bat and config sys in order to be able to run Doom. So that was, uh, yeah. <laughs> this uh, the, the Amiga games I completely missed, but I have very, very much respect for the peeps that are out there preserving games, especially those who go out of their way, like this team, uh, who basically are remaking Lionheart, one of the best, according to Indie Retro News, one of the best or the finest Amiga platformers, gets a big uh, Java remake. But why Java, though? To be fair, they're, uh, they did their own Java runtime, so you don't need to have Java installed system-wide. That, that's good. Uh, you just get the game, and you have their own Java runtime in order to be able to run it. That's great. That's amazing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it is... They've gone above and beyond, not just making Lionheart work, but they're actually redoing it with... Java in mind, I guess. Couldn't be perfect, I guess. That's, Listen, yeah. 100%. I, I can't give anybody <laughs> static for using Java for working on an Amiga game. <laughs> yeah, you, you, want, you want cross-platform. Java will give it to you. Right. It's, fast, it's faster than Python. Fair enough. Yeah. Ja, Java is the new... Yes. Java, <laughs> okay. All right. Java or Electron? Java. Mm -hmm. Eh... I, I, at that point, I'd say Electron. <laughs> uh, no, no, because with Electron, I can just go to a website and then have the full app, and I don't need to download right. anything. Yes. You, you can keep Electron. You don't, you don't Therefore, to, Electron. You don't need to pull the website from the web. You can just keep yeah. it. <laughs> so Doom runs on everything as oxygen pervades our atmosphere, so should Doom and our checkboxes, apparently. Yes, and uh, you, you've probably already seen the multiple WebAssembly revisions of Doom, but not this one. No, this one is rendered entirely out of uh, either blank space or checkboxes. That, that, that's... Yeah, okay. No, no. It's WebAssembly over it's, JavaScript. It's just checkboxes. It's just checkboxes. Yeah, they're, they're either filtered they're or they're either not. Ticked, they're not ticked. That, that that that's about it, but yeah, no, it is oh, uh, WebAssembly over JavaScript. Oh, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that, Rick. Oh, gee. The Yolo. resolution, the highest resolution that they can do. Oh, there we go. Click anywhere to play. Uh, highest resolution I, I, I that they do can like, do. I do like that they have the little window of the actual game up top, so you can see what the fuck you're doing. Mm -hmm. Right. How do I get and? The highest resolution is 160 by 100 checkboxes oh. because you higher can, resolutions baby. work, but FBS drop dramatically. I'm too young to so, die. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, guess JavaScript you know, isn't terribly well optimized. <laughs> it's, it's very, listen, it's very ah. impressive. I, I can't see anything else after <laughs> sticking knives in my eyes to cleanse the check checkboxes, but I am impressed nonetheless. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, you see, here's, the problem is, I really, I, I want to see what kind of load this is straight up putting on a fuck mothering thread ripper, but it's, it's all, it's all single threaded, baby. It's, it's probably the one thread at 100%. <laughs> uh, it is what? JavaScript, after all. It is JavaScript. This is fair. This is fair. Now, um, I'm, I still get a kick out of running Doom in a fuck mothering browser, kids. I do because uh, my, like, first nut, like, Tinker computer was a 486SX and it could barely run Doom. I mean, the doors, the doors hung when they were opening. They're like, Z -Z -Z -Z, like that, man. And just to be able to fire it up in a tab and play it. It's kind of weird, man. Um, you can't really see what's going on. This is just like one of those, like, why not? This is like ASCII text render in VLC, man. Just I, I, I'm looking forward to the version of Doom rendered entirely in ground beef. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need Lady happen. Gaga for the cover art. All you need is a rocket launcher. I mean, yeah. <laughs> multi kill. Oh, did you guys see the uh, like third person uh, brawler version of Doom? That mod? Yeah. Arthur posted that in Discord earlier in the week. That, that looked very, very good. 
Does that, actually is that a multiplayer? <laughs> because if we can like co- coop that, oh, I'll hop in. Yeah, uh-huh. there, there were two characters on the front, but I don't know if it's online mm. multiplayer. <laughs> we'll have to investigate. But uh, somebody that knows quite a bit about Fedorf, our favorite uh, local distribution that would run here, is one Jordan Swing. And apparently uh, the people at Fedorf Magazine have written a blog post about how to game. <laughs> yeah, this is from <laughs> Kevin With Gelling Dejeling Distribution. The memes, man, they're everywhere. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is a little article on uh, gaming on Fedora from the Fedora magazine. Uh, there's a preamble where it says, like, this is for setting up a proprietary gaming system. Can we can we dispense with that? That there's there's no such thing as there's uh, it, it, it is a pointless distinction that serves no one in any way, shape or form. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. But, Proteary online services. What are they trying to say here? Oh, non it's gaming? N- non-free software. <laughs> I mean, no, if, if you're listening to this podcast, no one fucking cares about that. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> they go through how to set up the uh, the NVIDIA drivers. They say use RPM Fusion. Um, I say that's fine if you want to simplify your system setup and not have a million repos. The Negativo uh, stuff is just packaged better and gets slightly faster updates. Uh, they tell you to install... Flat pack from or steam from flat pack. They which yeah you can you can do that I suppose. Uh, you can also get them from Negativo. They tell you to to install uh, OBS from uh, flat pack, which right. you should not do. Hi, I'm Ben. <laughs> um, That's why I put yeah. that link right there. <laughs> uh, you might know me some for such things as like uh, how to like OBS basics. Don't fucking do that. Do not fucking do that. I don't care if it's flat pack. I don't care if it is. Uh, maybe there's an app image. I don't care if it's a snap. You will be told to go fucking play in traffic if you show up in the OBS Discord asking for help. All right? I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. It's a bad idea. Containerized OBS is just a bad idea in general. And also, this is from the same Fedora magazine that told people to, hey, set up your system for audio by installing a full RT kernel and wonder why your fucking audio drivers and all anything else is like, why isn't it working? NVIDIA, why are you dead? And I wrote them <laughs> back, and they were like, shrug emoji. I mean, yeah. I, I get the I get the push for using Flatpak uh, because it's you know rootless software installation. Not for you OBS, probably, you don't. Not for not for OBS, but I'm saying for regular fucking Steam users. Steam, I'll allow. Either either way, I understand why specifically Fedora is promoting this. They're a GNOME project, GNOME software store, heavily uses Flatpak, okay. non root stuff. Why aren't yeah. you running Silverblue? Why aren't I running Silverblue? Because I don't want to. I don't have it. I genuinely don't have any specific reason why I'm not. See, that's how I feel about flatbacks when I get a regular system. I'm like, I, I mean, I mean, here's here's the thing: if the if the if there is software available in Flatpak and I don't have to compile it, that's fine. If if it's available in the YUM repo, I'll usually install it via YUM. Uh, that's that's just me. Um, one thing I do want to bring up because I feel this game, this article, fucking missed the mark entirely Uh-oh. on the fact that. Fedora is actually doing some really cool stuff for Linux gaming, like uh, integrating uh, LibRatBag by default on mm-hmm. the desktop install, which means that your gaming mice will have full support out of the box. Um, DXVK by Wine on default. They were the first guys to start doing that from a distro standpoint. And now your vanilla Wine will have improved DirectX 11 and 9 and 12 performance because it's shipping this by default. And hell, they even keep in reasonably up to date Lutris in the default repos, which this article I was does gonna, not uh, bring up. I, I was going to bring up, like, just, just keeping it real and keeping it honest. It, it's got to be in the single digits of people who still tangle with Wine directly without a Lutris, without a Heroic, or just no. using Steam. Yeah, yeah but, nowadays with Lutris, with Proton, the Heroic Games Launcher also makes use of Proton, or if you have other versions installed with Lutris, can well, make I'm use of that too. To, to my yeah. point with that, is like, <laughs> which version of Wine do you ship? Doesn't matter, bro. Yep, it, it, really, it really doesn't. See, that 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 is why you want containerized shit, so that you can just bundle your own version That's of Wine. That's a Wine bottle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Containers. <laughs> Isolation. <laughs> it's uh, called Limbo yeah. on Linux, the first release. <laughs> that people or, also or, or, lost or, their or, shit back in the day. Or yeah, not, not The Witcher 2. Yeah, pressure vessel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Fedora does some pretty cool stuff on the gaming space. Um, and if you have an AMD card, you're just ready to go right out the box. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it's good to see some shout outs. And, you know, despite the claims of it being a meme distribution, it can still hold up, <laughs> I think. Well, I mean, they talk I about like, Goverlay, like and I think Pedro plays around with that. Yes, I have used Goverlay and um, Mango HUD. It allows you to manage uh, Mango HUD and the um, 
VK Basalt if you have that installed. If you just want to use that and you're not using Proton GE or Proton in general, you can absolutely use uh, VK Basalt to do the contrast adaptive sharpening that makes things look sharper. So yeah, to absolutely give Goverlay a try. But it can't most make importantly, Pedro sharper. <laughs> good luck with that. I'm thick as they come. Uh, the um, he, he, <laughs> the reason he's just like a tuna can. It it's the girth and the length. Dull as a bowl. All right. Well, the reason I put this in the show notes was very much because of the whole uh, tuna can. Yeah. OBS uh, install OBS via flat pack, and I'm like, I'm gonna leave this here for one reason. First thing I see in the show notes, for the love of like spaghetti monster, do not install OBS with flat pack. I'm the solving. memes. I'm saving you problems. <laughs> yeah, you gotta Don't. put the fedora on, and I mean, okay. Here's the brass tacks, and we've definitely talked about this. This is 2021. Like outside of like trying to rehash like the fedora meme, like that's relevant. That's how you know you're getting old. Um, yeah. Outside of that, is a distribution. That's a fucking tame kitty cat. Like you just yep. install it. Everything's there. It's boring. Yeah. It has a pretty good distro. And especially <laughs> if you want to play with out of the box, no fucking around pipe wire and Wayland. It's gotcha. Yep. Now, if you it, have an AMD the, card the, or if you have an Intel like a laptop, seriously, use Fedora. At least give it a try once. My my one time. my one grant for Fedora project. <laughs> please, 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 just push out like updated install images every time a new major kernel comes out. I'm begging you, please. They used to have the nightlies. What happened to that? You get a flat. Pack. Don't ask people to fucking download nightlies. That's bad. All right, coming <laughs> up next. Do you know how to count to potato? Do you know how to count to T? We'll definitely learn how to do that. Re re re. Prime. It's just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. And then another step to the right. And then another step to the right. And then another jump to the left. What am I talking about? We're talking about Raster Prime Remix. Oh, sure. Developed by Punk Labs, LLC. Done on Godot. Hey, uh, you can pick it up for about five bucks. What is it? Your mind will short circuit in this atmospheric pixel sci-fi puzzler with eight, eight levels of increasing difficulty. Decipher each binary sequence to travel further into the unknown and unearth a deeper mystery that may never fully be understood. We got to thank Punk Labs for sending us some keys over Curator Connect so we could check this out. Uh, Pedro, we since need to you explain like- how this works. Um, three people, three reviews, three different systems, and we have a challenge clock. That one, it's... You know, it's going to explode. Then we just you just get cut off. Sure, <laughs> unless it's Ven because he's already overrun it for the past couple of times. Well, he's yeah. he's got to he's got to remember to blow up the clock, right? Yeah, I got to blow up the <laughs> clock, and I, I let Pedro slide last week, so I'm getting a kick out of this. All right, all right. well, <laughs> you, you, you know, Pedro, tell us about going left and right, and then left and right, and then right, and then left. Yeah. It- Actually, the whole uh, left and right thing, it wasn't terrible. But over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080, it launched out of the box. Oh, it holds 144 at 2560 by 1440, as it should. It's not a uh, very uh, demanding game, as I'm sure you can see, if you're looking at the video version, that is. Uh, it took me a bit to figure out the controls, but it shouldn't have, because they were clearly laid out on the screen. I just needed to pay a little bit of attention. I... I eventually figured it out. Uh, The graphics, they serve their purpose well, but they're nothing spectacular. The sound, on the other hand, when that yellow symbol thing in the middle starts spinning and the big crescendo noise happens, the first time it tickled my ears so much, it gave me goosebumps. That was very well, very well done. Uh, As for the fun, yes, I found it pretty fun. Uh, It is very well made. It's a very simple game, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to argue, you're just biased because you like puzzle games. Well, I beg to differ. Van and Jordan will um, explain why in a moment. Uh, But it's not my fault that puzzle game developers seem to be the ones that grasp the the fundamentals much better than everyone else, apparently. Uh, Everyone or everything you need to know uh, to solve a puzzle is on screen. There's not a single word ever in this game, there is no voice telling you what to do. You can figure everything out by playing with and playing the actual game. 75 megabytes, and they've accomplished more in terms of just pure game design than most several billion dollar budget games. It's not as mindfucky as other um, 
puzzle games that we've had a look at, uh, Baba Is You comes to mind, but Baba Is You did have words on screen. In fact, the the words were very much a part of the puzzle, which was genius. It was, and uh, Baba Is You is still the better game here, absolutely. But being able to present the puzzles and allowing people to figure out how to solve them and how to make progress without every uttering a single word or putting any words on screen at any point in my opinion, that's commendable, and we need more video games like that. So as far as I'm concerned, it gets four chairs. <laughs> Hang on, I'm working on it. Four. Ha! <laughs> yes. Jordan, take it away while I'm working on something here. Hang on. You, hang on, I'm still working on something. Uh, no, stalling, uh, there, stalling, there we stalling. go. Done. All right. On Fedora 34, 64-bit <laughs> with the R9 3900X GTX 1080 Ti. Yeah, it launches out of the box. Uh, the options you have in your options menu are mute and windowed mode. Uh, the controller works, but you're just using the shoulder buttons. No bu- no button prompts to speak of. Um, there, There is some vague direction in the gameplay itself, as Pedro alluded to. Uh, but you, you don't need to know what button to press for that. Uh, the soundtrack definitely synth waves and the graphics are good enough to get that puzzle mechanic across. But uh, here's the thing though. This is a counting game. You got to count how many of one shape versus how many of another shape make up the shape in the middle of the screen. That's it. That that's the game. I mean, Pedro's point about the conveyance of the core mechanics is very good. You know, you took a minute to figure out what the fuck I was supposed to actually be doing. And once I did, it felt good that I made that discovery. And then I realized exactly what it is I was actually supposed to be doing, and it was significantly less enthusiastic. I'm not opposed to simple mechanics in puzzle games, but they do have to be fun and engaging and counting squares. Not super fun for me, not with a, so, without some other mechanism attached to it. I got I to gotta be counting towards something. Do you like counting squares and only counting squares? You might enjoy this game then. I didn't. One chair. Might still be working on something. Give me uh, d- 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 one chair. Oh, that one chair. One <laughs> chair. <laughs> one is All the right. loneliest chair. Let me go ahead and boop it back over here. So over here on Debbie and Eleven Land, everything worked out of the box mostly. I'm going to say that uh, not much in the way of options. Sound on, sound off, full screen, windowed mode. Well, windowed mode when I went back from window to full screen, kind of locked Steam up. I uh, had to uh, kill nine. That uh, Xbox controller worked out of the box wireless. No problems there. Smash buttons until something started to happen in your kind of end game my first thought with this was uh w- when it did that little bit of a hang-up i lost the xbox controller so i am like well fuck what do i do now let me just try it with the mouse going to left and right is a long trip on a 43 inch monitor even at 1080p but much more so at 2160p so that made me pause Head to the internet and look, and yes, of course, that, that was my indicator with that left and right. This was originally a mobile game available on the Play Store and iOS Store. So, all right, that's the thing. Uh, stick with the controller on this if you are going to pick it up and you are going to play it. But uh, for me, the gameplay was one, two, three, count. One, two, three, count. One, two, three, count. One, two, three, count. Hey, I finished the first block of puzzles. Then it was one, two, three, four. Fuck. Um... <laughs> I, I realized that I was going to have to crawl up real close and start counting pixels to get things done right. I mean, it's a puzzle game where you press left and right trying to decipher the direction of a shape. Uh, it's simple. And you know what? It's priced accordingly. So no big deal about that. And, you know, this game all hinges on you being able to defeat the very first boss, which is figuring out what the hell you're supposed to be doing. Zero direction is given for this. So if you can't get by that, uh, good luck. Uh, you know, I think this game might actually work as a pickup, put down mobile experience. I'm going to just pop open. You're like, hey, I'm waiting for a minute. Let's see if I can cut through one of these puzzles. I, I just don't think it's uh, it's just too little of an experience for a desktop for me. I, I don't think it works as something that you would like sit down and play for a prolonged period of time. And I don't think it was originally designed as a game where you would sit down and play for a long time. Decent soundtrack. Wouldn't mind some OST dropping there. You know, I'd kick some coin over for that because it's definitely... Um, you know, uh, synthics. Yeah. Yes. I mean, the waves, opium synth. I, I'm, I'm done with that. So, but yeah, I mean, th- this is not my jam and I hate to do that, but it, I'm just going to have to throw one at it because this. Yeah. There's, there's not much of a game here. It's, it's difficult, but it's not like 
challenging. It's just how how well can you break up a shape into smaller shapes? I, I feel like this is like the uh, if you're doing like a corporate gig, like and you're part of like a corporate training thing. This is what they would allow you to do as entertainment in between playing the um, regex. Mind. Yeah, what, 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 while sl- <laughs> while silently rating you on your performance to determine if that's going to be your next bonus or not. Yeah, quite possibly, man. Uh, I would I would take the Reg X game over this because yeah, at least you learn something. You know what? I I I uh, no. he, let, let me be <laughs> no. let me be blunt. I understood this game more than to this date I, that I understood what was the Russian game uh, that came out of the nineties that we played. Uh, Adam no. Adam RPG? No, no, no. The Tetris? claymation. So, oh, yeah. Uh, with the cars that you drive Vangers? around? Vangers. Vangers, yeah. Vangers to this day. Oh, I liked Vangers, Vangers too. Vangers. No idea what the fuck's going <laughs> I on. In do that like I do like Vengers very, very much. <laughs> so, if you want to impress Pedro with your game, make sure that no one can tell what the fuck is going on. Indeed. Coming up next, we're talking about EAC uh, again because, yeah. you know, we're, we're easy about cheats. Chances are you've made it to the end. If you didn't, I'm not Bitch, entirely sure how you are listening. Make it any damn way. Did you use the wheel to skip? <laughs> Did you spin the wheel? Uh, yeah, to just play um, a timestamp roulette. Do they have keyboards like that? Like, do you think somebody's made something like scroll <laughs> I think, through I, uh, YouTube videos? I think videos? they do. They have the. I think they do have them. Well, Black Magic has one with a scroll wheel, but it's a thousand dollars. That doesn't count. That doesn't exist. Okay, yeah. okay, then you, you know it's maybe right. It's the internet. People build shit in China all the time for random shit. I don't know. I don't know. If I had a wheel, I'd spin it, but uh, I do not. So if you'd like to spin your tails our way, we would absolutely love to feature them right here, as long as they contain some hate and or mail. Uh, The... I saw that. Uh, if you go to linuxgamecast.com and you hit the contact button, you can just fill out the form. There's a, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's some caveats you might. I thought it was want. a ghost. <laughs> a spooky ghost. <laughs> spooky it's car. Ghost <laughs> no, baby. But yeah, it, there's uh, some caveats soup. at the top you might want to read. <laughs> <laughs> my alphabet soup is saying something. It's, it's like, like, oh, 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 yeah. A couple of caveats. <laughs> hey, check it out. Uh, if you got a working Linux build that's kind of brilliant, uh, it's going to get wishy washy with the Steam Deck. I'm sure we're going to get an influx of that. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to have to do with that. If you plan on sending a bunch of stuff like links and press releases, this is going to tell you to fuck right off. But there's an email address in the spiel that we have faith that you'll be able to read and uh, send it our mm-hmm. way, and we'll definitely give it a look. So, starting off. With EAC. By Dan. Dan the man. Dan says, regarding the EAC thing, potentially great news. Is the performance one-to-one with Windows yet? No excuses. I'm in if it's a good experience. That's a... That's a very milk toast opinion. I don't know. We we, we don't know if the feature parody is one-to-one because no one's fucking released it yet. Or have yeah, they? No one's actually ticked the box and updated the version and loaded the and new module, so... We don't know. All right. So, so I, I, I know I'm probably wrong about that, but I yes. don't know the I, name of the game, so I'm going to pretend they don't. Oh, exist. I was getting there. Brawlhalla did it. Brawlhalla. Okay. I'm, and you know, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it works fine, right? It's like, oh, the easy cheat that has, mm-hmm. has a flag for Proton. Be like, oh. Well, I mean, that, that's like the whole thing. It's a checkbox, and this is going to be the chicken and egg, and it, we're, we're going to have very much stalemate until steam dicks are in people's hands flopping around and uh that's just mm-hmm. gonna be reality also like don't don't come at people like oh convince me to run linux no go play in traffic i don't give a fuck if you run linux <laughs> it might not be the operating system for you if you need convincing to run it um yeah if you're really tired with windows like i was back in um pedro did i say i was done being bodies. toxic i did not sir i was you got some more bile to spew out <laughs> go go on don't don't let us stop you not not really i'm, I'm kind of empty boo <laughs> oh hello mike how you doing uh but yeah the uh the, the other game that i saw started working recently but it's not the first time it was paladins uh because Paladins is one of the games that uses EAC that I want to play because I like that kind of shootery, uh, hero shooter type of game. I do. And I want to play it. And I saw that it was launching and you could actually join hero shooter. I heard hero shooter. You shoot heroes. (laughs) I I heard, I heard hero shooter and I got very confused. 
<laughs> that would have been arrow shooter and it would have been a completely different thing the <laughs> no uh but it's paladins. It's not the first time that they've done this. They just don't load EAC. They probably misreleased. I thought the he build. said Nero so, shooter. And I'm like, I didn't know to Rome Total War had the. EAC. No, no, no. Ne- 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 I mean, Nier is mostly a shooter because you're constantly shooting a little fucking gun. I didn't know Nier was t- took place in ancient Rome, but all right. Yes, what? it does. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't remember the cyborgs in history the class? It does now. <laughs> Sorry, androids, not oh, cyborgs. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, did we get to the second one? I've lost track. Yeah, we, we, we need uh, to do no, the second this one is from the Monaco. Second one. No. Uh, okay, we, we were working on it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. let's talk about switching uh, from Monaco. Linus, we talked. We didn't have to talk about him this week. We didn't get a Linus free episode this week, unfortunately. No, but we got to bring this up. But I guess it's on topic. Linus hated Windows 11 so much. He switched to Linux. Changed my mind. Uh, see, see my original point last time. When I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm he's doing go that no? for the clicks. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I mean, oh, wait, maybe this is what we need to do. We need to take the Windows 11 challenge. <laughs> oh my God. I'm no. going to have to be dealing with that shit at work. So no, I'm okay. <laughs> you guys and, have fun and with that, that. And that's why you made poor life choices. I genuinely would not know where to begin to like set this up. <laughs> On Windows. Yeah. I don't even know if it's feasible. Like, no, you, you, you just got to go to dll.ru and download all the software. <laughs> well, I, Jack for Windows. Yeah, well, shadyexe.com. <laughs> hey, man, that, that's somehow safer than a script that you can read through real quick. Like, yes. Uh, or, uh, you know, you do control S on a website and then complain because you changed the file uh, extension to .sh. Hey, man. And it, then you bitch about how you in, don't, uh, these uh, file extension doesn't actually mean what the file type is. Can you is. blame him? It's a Microsoft product, Pedro. At least it didn't make a log file in his home <laughs> folder. Oh, right. <laughs> right. That he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. A, I would never try to like get into your system, but if I did, motherfucking dot files for days, baby. I, I, if you, oh, if you, if are you a software put the developer, dot files, I probably wouldn't see them for a long time. <laughs> if you are a software developer, please do a username check for Pedro and just make random files yeah, in their home that, directory. That's it. Please, uh, more, more. <laughs> There's more. a lot of people that call Pedro. Listen, you He's gotta cast there. a wide net sometimes. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, you gotta break some eggs, Pedro. You gotta break some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and on that eggy bombshell we need to uh do the thing where we do oh what, is there a new ge release <gasps> did we miss it there will be when we get done with the show guaranteed i'll get that notification yeah. we get up. <laughs> hey uh if you want to scream in my direction you can i'm at vin stone on twitter that's where i hang out do the things it's also like technically the show's account thing because we never assume more than one person would ever watch this and uh i'm at vin on mastodon mass.linuxemcast.com you can join up there if you want screw me over there send email in i'm easy to get a hold to so there's no excuse on that i'm jordan Svung. if you want to convince me that fedora is a meme distribution uh you can definitely try you can do so at the burning fool on twitter or maybe follow me on twitch.tv slash burning fool i'm playing iron sworn now we're seeing how that's going it's a single player tabletop rpg so if you want to see me play pretend with myself come watch that you can find me whinging about uh random files showing up in my home folder at unaccounted for on Twitter. Actually, I didn't post anything on Twitter. I, I should have, but uh, since Strider wasn't Discord, I just uh, kind of like, yo, the hell. Hey, but I yeah, mean, Twitter you, is, the, is the way to go. Could you imagine if you <laughs> use GitHub to file a bug report? <laughs> don't, don't use GitHub to submit patches or Linus will eat you. Yeah, no, Lutris, using GitHub for reporting stuff in Lutris? <laughs> Time for some credits. I mean, yeah, it's it's time for the fourth awakening. We need to be wiped out because we are a bunch of deviants. We got to thank. Yeah, that, that, that's the maternal's references for people who understand that shit. We got to thank our lovely, lovely Patreons, the people who are making this possible, our advisors, Omegas and our Theron and our executive producers. Who are they? They are Aldius, Bargaram, Scott Michaud, Mr. Fox Dog, Tomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer and Kohaku. Hey, man, and our we got little some uh, kick ass, right? Darkwing, Abstraction, followed by some sea monsters like Jack. B, Ronaldo, Ryder X, Machina, Truggy, Veritanuda, Justin Frost, Glow, and Strider. 
and the Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Morrison, System T, Craig, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill, Benjamin, Doom 2.Watt, Stephen B, Dirty Dean, Back, Game of Tron, and Dodger. And again, wow, look at these little cheerlings. Kylanix, Castivandro, Igal, Belric, Alex, Mr. Omish, and Mag. Frank and Bob. Canada Belric is not spelled that way. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you, need, you need a spell check there, Frank. That has been spelled like that from day one, bitches. Well, Lennox, reading is hard. Eshep and Game of Tron. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you every single week from now on. And now, Jordan, after uh, 10 years, you have a problem with us misspelling stuff? It's balls to the wall, baby. Dynafire, everyone. We'll see you next week. To the window, to the wall. Cannibals. Sweaty, Cannon, sweaty balls. Cannibal, <laughs> cannibal, see. Till the sweat dropped down. Cannonball, see. Five dudes.